This is a short demonstration of one way to integrate LeapTest with ServiceNow. Um, in this example, I have created a couple of test cases, one case that always passes here and another case that always fails. And then I've set up a schedule that uh, can be triggered from our REST API. And uh, I've set those two cases uh, to be run and they are run on a remote server. And so uh, I can switch over to uh, ServiceNow. And over in ServiceNow, I've created a table. Uh, we this can be done in many different ways, but I have uh, chosen to create a table. And then I've created a business rule that runs on top of this table. I can just open the business rule so you can see. Um, it's an asynchronous business rule that just points to my leap test runs table. And it gets triggered on insert of any row and uh, when it is executed, it will simply execute this, uh, this script. And what this script does is it triggers um, leap test to, uh, to run my schedule. First get the schedule, then run the schedule, then pull for the results. And as the results are available, if there are any failed cases, iterate through them and create incidents in ServiceNow uh, for them. So this is all triggered and managed from within ServiceNow, and we are simply using LeapTest's API to make it all work. So if we go to this uh, table, I'll simply create a, um, a new case. And then if we just switch the screen so we can, so we can also see a LeapTest as this is going, we can see already uh, the, the test, case, uh, test schedule is running. Um, and, uh, you know, we can of course, go about our business in, in service now and continue working. But at some point when, when this is already done and we update, we uh, get the result that we executed the schedule. And um, if we go to incidents um, and look at all incidents, we can actually see that one incident was created from leap test. This case always fails. And if we open this incident, just as an example, we automatically take the execution log from uh, the leap test case and feed into uh, the incident. Now, this is based on a very simple script and it can be customized in many different ways to uh, perform any sort of logic that you might prefer. As you can see, it's, it's, it's just a simple uh, business rule, all of it running from within ServiceNow. So this was just a really simple example of how to integrate a leap test with ServiceNow in a, um, in a very predictable, very easy to understand way. And, and again, as you can see, we, we can trigger things to, uh, to run and we can just do this again and, and see one more uh, incident being created. And the status goes idle. And then in a few uh, seconds, if we refresh this page, we can see again, the schedule was executed and we can see yet another incident having been created over here.